Please note that no children were involved in this text exchange. Kate and Chance are both adults. Kate suspected Chance would be inappropriate if she pretended to be a 14-year-old girl. Chance proved her suspicion to be valid. We joined the exchange right after Chance has sent Kate a photo of his unit. Because nobody needs to see it or Kate's bait, no photos are included here. So, watching Cyrax made me realize he is absolutely right about one thing, it is time to take action. Did you know that right now it is entirely possible for an unsuspecting child to contact Chance and become a potential victim? Think of it, though remote, there is a very real possibility that a kid near you could be used just like this decoy was. It turns out that Ohio law is a bit lax on PDF files, so they aren't going to arrest him merely for being a sicko. However, there is good news. When a sicko requests nudes and sends dick pics out of state to a potential minor, he, she, slash, they have the potential to commit crimes in two states at the same time. It might be illegal in their state and the state their victim was in. So what does that mean? It means I'm going to approach a local law enforcement agency and suggest they set up a sting for chance. If they agree, here's what'll happen. A deputy will work with me will set up a nice kitty account on Facebook or something. We'll hang out for a bit, tell him he's great and pretty soon he will want to chat. Being who he is, dick pics and requests for CP will come. After he's done, we'll get the same brush off Kate got. Only, that's where things will be different. The deputy will write a report and submit the evidence to the district attorney, who will see it's a slam dunk case and decide to prosecute. Putting away sickos, chance, is a great way to be re-elected if you are a district attorney. A warrant for your arrest will be issued, and since we all know where you are right this minute, the DA will get on the horn with authorities in Ohio. Akron PD will then show up at the door and you'll be escorted to a plane, or more likely bus, to be shipped off to face justice outside Ohio. Of course, you're probably thinking something like, well, whatever, even if you do get them to agree you're just in one state, I can still make friends with whoever I want. What are the chances you'll find me inward vich British cigarette boy? Wrong again, my little sicko non-friend. I've got a suggestion for the audience that might send a cold chill down that crooked spine. Before I deliver it, there's another message I can't forget to give you on behalf of a talented guy by the name of Medusa Jr. You remember him, the guy that made you look like a chump on Marty's panel last night. He says you're a racist, talentless, tainted piece of gooey goblin shit. And now, I have a modest proposal for the audience. You can do the very same thing if you live in the United States. Choose the largest law enforcement agency nearby and give them a call on a non-emergency line. Tell them you know about a child victimizer at large and want to file a report. Show or give them a link to this video so they can see what he's done. If you face resistance, don't push back. There's another way to go and it's my backup plan if my meeting isn't productive. Approach the district attorney's office, explain that you're concerned about this globally known sicko victimizing local children. They should recognize the potential political points they'd score getting a creep off the net. Especially the multi-offender like Chance. If they don't, again, do not push back. Harassing law enforcement or the DA is a quick ticket to jail, and you can't protect kids from Raxo there. You can instead go to local media, show them Chance and his crimes, and then ask why nothing's being done. Once again, do not be aggressive. They may not be interested either. If that's the case, you at least know you did everything you could to prevent a tragedy. When one does eventually happen, you will be able to hold authorities accountable for their inaction. No matter what happens with my meetings, or yours, do not post the results on the internet. He's either going to assume nobody was successful and keep right on victimizing kids when he's horny, only to fall into a trap. Or he's going to be too afraid to engage with kiddos that contact him. It's not a perfect plan, but then again the world is far from perfect. This is simply the best shot we have to make a difference. If we can keep at least one kid from seeing Goblin Dick, it'll be worth the effort. Hashtag no Goblin Dick for kids.